Turning on AMD's Smart Access Memory or Resizable Bar is very simple. Skip to this part of the video if you want to see how to do it, as I'll go over some requirements quickly right now. The requirements. For AMD GPUs, you will need an RX 5000 series GPU and above for enabling Smart Access Memory. There are ways to do it unofficially with Smart Access Memory for before, so like the RX 480 on the 400 series, but those are unofficial and I won't be covering Covering that in this tutorial. Next, for AMD CPU systems, you will generally need a B450 or newer motherboard, but I have seen a few reports of people using SAM or Rebar on a B350 motherboard with a BIOS update. So if you want, you can just BIOS update your older motherboard. Now this goes for AMD CPUs, you will specifically need an AMD Ryzen 3000 CPU or above, but this will not support the APUs from the Ryzen 3000 series, such as the Ryzen 5 3400G or the Ryzen 3 3200G, so just Ryzen 3000 and above. Now for my Intel people, you will need any modern Intel platform that can support resizable bar, so generally any Intel system above 12th generation with a 600 or 700 series motherboard should support AMD SAM or rebar in the motherboard. 11th gen series should have rebar on the BIOS on the motherboard as long as the BIOS is updated such as with a 500 series motherboard and there are quite a few 400 series motherboards as well that have had BIOS updates. Now for 10th generation Intel it may support SAM or rebar on the 400 series like the Z490 boards for example but it's only if the motherboard manufacturer has put out a BIOS update. I would highly recommend to check the patch notes of the BIOS update files as it usually says if rebar or resizable bar is included as a feature and this goes for AMD or Intel. The next requirement is that you'll need a GPT based Windows drive. So older MBR formatted Windows will not work. To check this in the Windows search box type in partition and click on create and format a partition Find your Windows install drive, which should be the C drive. My C drive comes under disk 4 in the left hand column. So I right click disk 4, click properties, then click volumes. As you can see here, mine says GUID partition table GPT, which is what we wanted to say. If yours says MBR, you won't be able to enable SAM in your BIOS. If you have an MBR drive, you can back up every file that you need. And if you search up a tutorial on how to convert convert your Windows install to GPT, you should be good to go. All at your own risk of course, and just make sure you back up all your files before doing this. It's also best to update your AMD drivers as well. You will need drivers newer than 21.9.1, so pretty old at this point. If you don't want to update past that point, that should be fine as well. If you have all of that, it's time to head to your BIOS. To enter your BIOS, click the Windows Start icon in the bottom left hand corner, hold shift on your keyboard, click the power icon, then click restart while holding the shift key. Next click advanced options, then UEFI firmware settings. The other way to do this is to restart your computer normally and click the key that comes up on screen to enter the BIOS. For example, my one is delete. Now to enable resizable bar in the BIOS for AMD Smart Access Memory. You may have to search where to find where to enable rebar on your specific motherboard on Google. Just a quick heads up. First off, I want you to disable CSM in the BIOS. CSM should be located generally under the boot tab. You'll need to click it, then disable it. This is why you must have a GPT formatted Windows drive instead of MBR, as disabling CSM will not allow you to boot into an MBR Windows install. Generally, it should be under some sort of advanced tab, and then it should say PCI configuration, chipset configuration, or something along the lines of that. It could also be under the peripherals tab as well. For example, on my ASRock motherboard, it's under the advanced setting, then PCI configuration, above 4G decoding needs to be enabled, then resize bar support needs to be enabled. Another example is on my Gigabyte BIOS. I will click on advanced, then settings, 
next IO ports, then enable 4G decoding and set resize bar support to auto or on if the option is available. On some motherboards you may need to enable 4G decoding to see the rebar option in the first place like my ASRock motherboard. On my MSI motherboard it was under settings, advanced, PCIe, PCI subsystem settings for turning rebar on. On my ASUS motherboard it was under advanced, PCI subsystem and you can see it on the top right as well in ASUS's BIOS. Again you might have to search up for your specific motherboard to find where the setting is located for resizable bar. You can now save these settings and exit the BIOS. To verify that it has been enabled, search for AMD Adrenaline Edition in the Windows search box or right click your desktop and click on AMD Software Adrenaline Edition. Once the AMD app has opened up, click on Performance, then Tuning and find the bottom tab where it says AMD Smart Access Memory or SAM, better known as Resizable Bar and it should now say enabled. You can also use GPUZ linked in the description, install it, click advanced, and then on the top drop down box, click PCIe resizable bar, and it should say enabled, and yes, for enabled in BIOS. Luckily for AMD, there's no further steps that you need to take. Resizable bar or smart access memory, AMD SAM is now enabled. If it doesn't say that smart access memory is enabled, it could mean that your system is not compatible or that you might need to update your BIOS for it. For example, on my old Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master motherboard, I had resizable bar enabled in the BIOS, but it did not show as enabled in Windows, so I had to update my BIOS again for it to work. So that about sums up this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys get some good performance gains by enabling smart access memory. If you have an NVIDIA GPU as well, check out my other tutorial on how to enable NVIDIA's resizable bar for NVIDIA based graphics cards. Check out wirestech.org for some more awesome content, but other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.